Hi guys, Kolya already this. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up Future Beat Moonlander 2. Moonlander 2 is the most efficient Litecoin USB miner at the current market. It has between 3 megabyte hash per second to 5 megabyte hash per second hash rate with consuming only about 2 to 10 watts of the electricity. All the information about how to set up Moonlander 2 is at this thread. I will walk through the important points on this thread to help you set up your Moonlander 2. Okay, first thing first, uh, we need to download the UART VPC driver. Click this link. Currently, I'm uh, on Windows 10, so I have downloaded this. Then we need to download BFG Miner. Click on this link, it will bring us to here and do the same thing. Choose the current operating system you are using. Okay, I have downloaded uh, this Windows 64 bit zip folder. After I download them, I extract this zip files on my desktop then install the driver this one after I install it I will go to BFG miner folder and edit this file at the beginning the only options you need added on this command is this URL and your worker name and password so if you don't know what's that please refer back to my cryptocurrency mining software tutorial series one in that video i talk about uh, these entries the original clock rate setting is 600 i bump it up to 720 megahertz that's why i get a higher hash rate okay before you do that uh, please read through the hardware session. Some important entries you need to understand is at this row. The first number is the name of your Moonlander 2 module. If you are building a Litecoin mining rig and you have like 10 Moonlander 2 plug into the USB port, it should have a 0 to 9 module here. Okay, first the number of this hash rate is your two minute average hash rate. The second number means the overall average hash rate since your Moon Lander 2 started mining. Last hash rate number means the pool hash rate based on your submitted shares. The last number is always lower than the second num hash rate number because the local hash rate doesn't consider the stale network shares or hardware errors. Stale network shares means you submit a block that have already been solved. So that's why this number is lower than the second one. This is hardware error, not homework. The hardware error between uh, 2 to 3 percent is normal. I think because I just simply changed this clock rate and I didn't tweak the CPU power so it generates some hardware error, uh, but it's very normal according to this thread. Today's bonus, I will show you some technical analysis about Bitcoin trending. I first did the Bitcoin trending because uh, you guys know that Bitcoin price will influence other altcoins price. If Bitcoin price rise up, other altcoin price will rise up too. If Bitcoin price drops, other altcoin price will drop. Okay, this is my Fibonacci retracement Bitcoin analysis. I know it looks very messy, but let's focus in on the important lines. This dash Fibonacci supporting line and this purple resistance line and this red supporting line. Also the 50 days MA moving average line and 20 days moving average line. Okay, I did several 
Fibonacci retracement and find the supporting lines at Fibonacci confluence zones. As we can see that the Bitcoin price break this supporting line and also the price break this supporting line. That means that likely the price will find the next supporting line, which is this 8467 supporting line. Also, we can see the price is always below this 20 days moving average line after this cross. I think this is a indicator that the bearish trend will continue. Okay, but if the price break this resistance line with a increasing volume that will be a indicator of bullish trend the price will likely recover back to these rooms and even go and even going higher okay this is the price okay that's just my prediction of a bitcoin no one knows what the price will be in the future and let's be patient and keep watching thank you guys i hope you like my video please leave comments if you have questions see you next time